Welcome back. Ten minutes after 8 o'clock. It's that time of year. Companies, including WBTV, uh, gearing up for holiday office parties. But as festive as they are, they can be landmines for employers and lead to embarrassing moments for employees. So attorney Adam Bridgers from Fisher & Phillips is here with some tips this morning. Good morning, Adam. Good to see you this morning. Good morning, John. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, this is uh, some good advice because a lot of companies are having parties, and I don't know that we think of the legal ramifications sometimes, but give us an idea what we've got right here. Well, I'm going to have to warn you. After I get through, people are going to be singing, you're a mean one, Mr. Grant. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the, the holiday cheer out of All right, show us what we got going okay. here. First of all, about 90% of employers and companies are gearing up to have some sort of holiday festivities. 80% right. of those will involve what causes about 100% of the problems. What's that? Our friend, old liquid courage, uh, Mr. Alcohol. Yes, all right. So our, our first uh, prop here. Red Solo Cup. Yes. This is great for celebrating the Panthers 9-0 and yes. at a tailgate. Very bad for holiday office parties. To me, this indicates that this is free refills, as many as you want. Not a good idea. Right. We should try to limit our consumption as individuals and as companies. Help your employees not to drink too much. I recommend two drinks provided for free. You can use something like ah, the Ah, yeah, I use tickets. tickets. Yeah. That's a good idea. And listen to the Toby Keith song about That's the right. Red Solo exactly. Cup there, too. Good idea. Two drinks maximum. And there. then you can open up to a cash bar. Something else you want to consider is um, stopping the bar about an hour before the party's over, providing food uh -huh. and non alcoholic beverages. Also, professional bartenders. That helps take some mm -hmm. of the liability for overconsumption off of the office, off of the employer. Good idea. So, All right. alcohol. Alcohol is the um, catalyst. Let's talk about some things that actually uh, stem from drinking too much alcohol. Okay, we got about a minute left here, so okay. let's get through this here. Mistletoe. Yes. Don't hang the mistletoe. You don't want employees kissing in the in the office party. You also don't want anybody sitting in Santa's lap. That's not a very good idea. I'm not so, going to get into the kissing part. Oh, I, I do well, want to. I do want to remind everybody: get a cab. Get a cab. Yes. Ah. Yes, yes. Get a cab. This is the lawyer's car. That's what I ride away. In. Okay. Uh, it. Yeah, tell me about this. This could be this could be even more dangerous than the alcohol if you ask so, me. So when that one uh, co-worker we have that we all know has had about five or six of these, yes. he's got the mistletoe hanging over his head, yeah. um, and he's asking for inviting people to come see him. You don't want a lot of this going on. Yeah, exactly. The picture is called himself. evidence. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that. No, we don't want that at all. Okay, yeah. So uh, a couple of um, parting um, ideas or yes. parting um, tips. Number one, have a staff meeting or an email that goes out before your party, kind of outlining the basics, reminding everyone we're going to have a good time, but this still is work. This still is a professional environment. Uh, number two, make it optional. Very important. Uh, you don't want it, be, want it to be mandatory um, for several different reasons. Uh, so uh -huh. those are some good tips to follow um, when you're coming up on your holiday party. And most importantly, have fun. Don't take the cheer out of the holidays, you but got just be right. careful. All right, Adam, some great advice there. You can apply this to your personal party at your home as well, so keep that in mind, too. Yeah. Some legal ramifications there. And if you want some more uh, advice about general labor uh, and employment laws, our website is full of free resources, laborlawyers.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Bridgers ESQ. All right, Adam Bridgers, thank you so much. Good to have you with us. Some good advice there. All right, stay with us, 14 after 8, and we'll be back right after this. Dad's